Today is a dead watch kind of day. Hello there troopers and welcome back to General Kenobi's Bunker. Today we got a very special episode. We are going to beef up our dead watch troop. If this is your first time here on the channel, we like to talk about Star Wars. We do a lot of toy hunting, we do a lot of toy unboxing and reviews, and we also go live every Wednesday to talk about Star Wars news, TV shows, rumors, etc. So if you like Star Wars, definitely consider subscribing. Okay, I had to take off the helmet. That, that got way too hot. Um, but yes, welcome. So today we have a nice combo unboxing and review for these three figures that you see here. Now, I was hoping that Axe Wolves would uh, show up in time so that I could just do basically a full Death Watch uh, squad, but he's nowhere to be seen yet. So uh, we'll just go ahead and uh, unbox these three guys here. So we got the Black Series, Casca Reeves, Bo-Katan, and Death Watch Mandalorian. Okay, let's take a very quick look at the packaging. So this is part of the uh, Galaxy packaging. There you go, some pretty cool illustrations off to the side. Uh, we got slightly different versions of those same illustrations on the back along with some text and you can zoom in if you want to read them all uh, very plain on the other side nothing really uh, that stands out uh, this is what the top looks like that's what the bottom looks like all right let's crack them open this is what the figure looks like uh, in tray uh, pretty similar as you can see although the only one that's actually showing her face is Bo-Katan and uh, Casca Reef also has a removal helmet, so that's a you know that is a, a difference between the two. So let's go ahead and focus on Bo Katan because she is basically the one I've had for the longest, and uh, yeah, she deserves special treatment. The future ruler of Mandalore, maybe. So, this is what you get in the packaging. Let's take a quick look at her accessories. First of all, we got her Mandalorian blasters uh, looking just fine. I think they're a little bit smaller than the previous versions on Sabine, uh, but they look just fine. You know, good detail on the molding, not so much on the paint, to be expected. Now, I really like this. Check out the helmet. It's got some really nice weathering, uh, some scuffing, you know, on the paint. I think the molding is pretty good. The visor should pop down. Yep, there you go. Uh, so yeah, overall I'm really liking this helmet. I'm actually wanting to buy the uh, the Black Series version so that I can wear it. This surprised me a little bit. Um, this is a small jetpack. Uh, the details on it are pretty good. I'm actually liking the color combination on it. Really nice. And of course we got a nice peg for it to go on her back. Let's jump onto the figure itself. I um, already see a couple of things. But let's start off with her portrait. I think they kind of nailed it, honestly. Big forehead, looks kind of funky. So, I was thinking about this. The hair, to me, looks a little bit off. Uh, but I think it's just sort of squashed down so that you can put the helmet on, you know, without too much trouble. So, I'm giving them a pass on that. Um, armor looks fine. Uh, I think the details are there in the molding. Uh, not so much on the paint. There is some scuffs here on the front. But I don't really see any more scuffs per se on uh, on the rest of the armor, really. Uh, you know, the colors are fine for the most part. Uh, you do have some grime and some weathering, I guess. But not no real like scuffing except for here, like I said, on the on the stomach plate. So that's a little bit weird. Uh, I don't remember the color of this. I don't know if that's supposed to be armor. Uh, you know, from then on, the molding on the on her belt looks just fine. Uh, you got double holsters if you want to holster both weapons. Uh, she does have, you know, uh, double weapon hands, of course, for dual wielding. Uh, some basic, I guess, articulation. Uh, I'm really liking the mold, you know, on her face. Her portrait is really good. Uh, movement on it is fine. I mean, she's going to be wearing her helmet anyway. Uh, knees, you know, eh, about as expected. So, I wouldn't say this is a super, super poseable uh, figure. But, it's, you know, it's done just about right. 
Uh, but like I said, my, my little gripe is with the uh, scuffs because we do get some here in the front. But then basically nowhere else or none that I can see. So this is Bo-Katan basically battle mode, which is the only mode she knows. Uh, we got her jetpack in the back, dual wielding Mandalorian blasters, and her helmet is on. Um, I gotta say, I really like the way this looks once it's put together. The helmet went on, no problem. It does give it, you know, a touch of realism because there is an actual head underneath it, right? So I think that that looks really really does work. Um, one thing I actually was pleasantly surprised about is the ease with which you can put these blasters into her hands. It was actually pretty easy. Um, I think the slightly smaller blaster size makes it, you know, just a lot easier. I don't know. You know, the trigger finger uh, goes into the groove just fine. So yeah, pleasantly surprised about that. So as I was working on posing her uh, I noticed this, so this whole like undergarment for the and the armor, it's like a vest on the figure. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but it's it's a uh, it's a piece over the main body of the figure that basically wraps around, you know, on the back. So that is interesting. So yeah, it is, it is like a vest, you know, with the armor on front. That's, I guess that's why we get you know this sort of like range of motion with the shoulders um, because the shoulder just basically goes into the vest if you notice that so okay that's um, yeah doesn't look bad I kind of like it actually so let's just go real quick on to things that I don't fully like on the figure um, the color on these belts and holsters I think it's a little bit too light from what we saw on the show remember this is supposed to be based on the Mandalorian TV show uh, but I think they actually went with the color from the Clone Wars. That and some of the grime looks more like just, you know, blotches of paint. Like, you know, like she was painting her apartment and she didn't do a really good job. Uh, more than, you know, more than grime or dirt. And, um, yeah, I don't understand if they worked on the scuffing of the armor, you know, here. Uh, couldn't they add some of that silver onto some of the other, you know, parts of her armor? That's, that's, yeah, that's, that might be my main gripe with this figure. Next one up is Casca Reeves, part of uh, Bo-Katan's squad in the Mandalorian show. Uh, she's got a whole lot of blue. See, she has this part painted. Okay, uh, so this is how the figure comes, but let's go ahead and reveal her portrait. Okay, wow. So, the portrait is pretty good. It's just very shiny, like uh, like a lot of these Scantec, I guess, figures. Although I will give kudos to Hasbro for that hair. Look at that. Wow. I'm actually pretty impressed with the hair. Got a lot of detail going on. She does have a slight, like, mohawk, I guess, on top. Uh, they seem to have done the same with the best. Actually, you know what? This is basically Bo-Katan from the waist down. Um, minus one holster for some reason. Uh, did she only have one gun in the... Uh, one blaster in the uh, show? If she comes with two, she can only holster one. So she's always ready, you know. She always has to have that second one. Uh, helmet, you know, very similar to Bo-Katan's. Um, but you know what? This, this looks a little bit different is this longer okay so i went ahead and grabbed uh bo helmet and yeah look at that casca reeves helmet is a little bit taller i guess they are accommodating for all that hair oh and she's missing this piece on the side see that okay well maybe it's not that as similar as, as uh, bo -Katan's. that's very interesting they went that way so they actually molded basically new dimensions on the helmet to accommodate for that slight uh mohawk that she's got well i gotta say um i kind of like that because you know that adds to the character uh you know the portrayal of the character should be accurate so good on you hasbro okay so again uh this is basically the same body as bo -Katan. 
and I'm noticing that they sort of did the same thing. If you notice here on the chest plate, they got some grime and they got that silver paint, you know, like scuffs. Same thing on the helmet, but basically nowhere else on her armor. There is no silver scuffs anywhere. So, so that's kind of, oh, I just noticed this. They did not paint that buckle like this one in the front. Okay, so I guess we are in short uh, supply of silver paint. Moving over to her jetpack. Again, this is Bo-Katan's jetpack with less blue. And that's what she looks like all put together. Like that. Um, I'll be honest with you. I don't remember that she had these uh, shin guards, you know, armor in the, uh, in the show. I want to say she just had the boots like straight up with no armor. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure about that actually. And last but absolutely not least, we got the Dead Watch Mandalorian. Uh, basically a Dead Watch foot soldier. Now, these are the guys that we see saving Din Djarin as a kid from the battle droids. Um, I'm not gonna lie, this might be my favorite figure of the three. But let's take a look at the accessories. First off, we have a gun, sort of reminiscent of Boba Fett's uh, blaster. So again, the molding is there, you know, you have some uh, texturized grips and things like that, but the paint is basically non-existent. Uh, we have our classic Mandalorian blaster, just slightly darker. It seems to be about the same size as Bo-Katan and um, Casca's, so we get one of those only. And we got our more classic looking jetpack. Now this looks a lot like the one for Jango Fett. Except I believe the rocket is more rounded. Uh, I'd have to double check on that. Let's take a look at the figure. So, first of all, I love the color scheme of this, guys. Um, that's actually why I bought the Black Series helmet. Uh, I don't know. There's something about the combination that I really like. So, we do have some uh, silver scuffs, you know, on the armor. Uh, it seems like same situation. Oh, we got a Dead Watch clan uh, insignia. Yeah, I don't see any more scuffing anywhere in the armor. So, yeah, I don't know what's up with that. Anyway, uh, helmet, you know, it's not removable. We do not have a head underneath here. So we do get some slight, you know, tilting. Pretty good, actually. The armor looks great. The color scheme. Um, they seem to have done the same technique on the uh, chest portion where this is basically like a vest. Uh, but this guy has more of a, or I should say, bigger shoulder plates. So you cannot, you know, have the same range of motion as you did with Cusk. Uh Different belt, of course. Uh, single holster. Uh, different, you know, thigh armors. More like the Mandalorian. And uh, the boots, yeah, no armor on the shins. So... Overall, really good. Like I said, I love the way this guy looks. Um, yeah, I think this is definitely uh, a nice army builder. If you're looking to spruce up your Mando shelf, I will definitely pick up a few of these guys. This is what it looks like all put together. I gotta say, they did a really good job with this holster. It fits just perfectly, the blaster in there. Um, Two-handed blaster and the jetpack on the back. So, yeah. I, uh, I'm kind of loving this figure, guys. Okay, just a quick comparison with the uh, Mando Loyalist, which was the, I guess, the closest thing we'd had to a uh, Mando foot soldier before. Um, I think you can tell right away, but uh, yeah, look at the helmet. You know, the proportions are different. Uh, the armor is different, of course. See, these are the blasters that I was talking about. Uh, they're a little bit bigger than, uh, than the ones we're getting now. And check out the jetpack. I guess I didn't realize, but it is different mold. Um, so that's kind of cool. I mean, this is more of a simplified look, I think, than these. Uh, but it is different. So there you go. Good on you, Hasbro. Good on you.
and finally here they are joining their uh, Mandalorian teammates. Let me know what you think down in the comments. I would also greatly appreciate it if you can share the content with people you think would enjoy it. Please do not forget to hit like on this video, comment and subscribe. Thanks again and remember, this is the way.